This month's challenge is all about design. Use software such as Tinkercad to design a tool that could make winter easier this year. It could be related to sports, a technology accessory, or an everyday item such as the example here. We'll be making a large handled scraper to clear snow and ice from a window. What could you design that would help you or somebody in your community this winter? Visit tinkercad.com and sign in or make an account. The Google sign in option is an easy choice if your school uses Google Workspaces. Click Create New Design to start a new project. This is the work plane. To view the work plane from other sides or angles, hold down the mouse pointer on the cube in the top left corner. You can also hold down control while clicking on the work plane to change the point of view. Give your file a name to identify what the project will be. On the right, we have a bank of shapes and objects that we can use to make our scraper. Have a look to see what's there that could help you with your design. To get started with our scraper, we need to pick a shape that we can manipulate. To make the part that scrapes the ice, start with this wedge. These squares around the wedge let you resize it. Tinkercad uses millimeters as its unit of measurement, so you can use your ruler to help you figure out how big things will be if you decide to 3D print your object. Use your mouse to drag the squares and resize the shape, or you can type a specific measurement into the box that has the numbers in it. We need to create a sharp edge to scrape the snow. To do this, you could use the round roof shape and put it under the wedge. Use the curved arrow tool to align the shapes. In the Shapes menu on the right, set the shape to be a hole. This will give us a gap underneath the wedge and a sharp edge to scrape the ice. Use your mouse to select the two shapes. You can also use a keyboard shortcut. Hold down Control while you click A. The Group button in the top right will turn these two shapes into one. We want the scraper to have a large handle that will be easy to hold onto. A box will be a good starting point for the handle. Hovering the mouse over the white box will tell you if you need to make an adjustment or not. Check the widths as well. To make it easier to hold onto, add some grips to the side of the box. Several cylinders will work well for this. Use the duplicate button found in the top left or the keyboard shortcuts Control C and Control V to make more cylinders that are identical to the first one. Hold the shift key while you click on each of the cylinders. This will select them all. We can now push the duplicate button to make a copy of this whole row of cylinders. When you have things positioned the way you want, select them and use the group tool to turn them into a single shape. You can ungroup them anytime if you need to make adjustments. To make sure the shapes fit together properly, we can use Tinkercad's Align tool. Select the shapes that you want to line up and click on the Align button in the top right. This will show you several ways that you can align your shapes. 
We want them to line up at the center of the length. What will you design to make winter easier or safer for yourself or somebody else in your community? If your school doesn't have a 3D printer, the Brilliant Labs team would be happy to print it for you. Click the export button and choose STL. Have your teacher email this to us at info at brilliantlabs.ca and we'll get it to you as soon as we can. Be sure to share your designs with us on social media.